Hello, for today's video we're going to be taking a look at the US 10C time clock. Uh, this video is going to address the Wi-Fi setup for this clock when you receive the clock. Uh, there's a couple of things you'll need to do to get the Wi-Fi up and going and we're going to go through that today. So looking at the clock up here in the upper right hand corner I can see that neither the Ethernet wired connection or the Wi-Fi connection has been uh, set up and or enabled. So when you get the clock, it should be fresh. You should not need a fingerprint to get into the admin menu. We're just going to press the enter button, which is the button with the letter M and the enter symbol on it. That brings us right to the admin menu, and these are our choices. We want to go to the COM for communication. We have navigation arrows right here, up, down, left, right. So we'll use those. We're going to use our right button. we we'll go to the comm and then we're going to press the enter button to go inside the comms. Now I've got network and over to the right you can see Wi-Fi set up. So the first thing we want to do is highlight network and press the enter button. We see the DHCP is set to off and that's exactly what we need. If you are not going to use the Wi-Fi then you would set the DHCP to on if that's what your environment needed. We would just click the arrow button because the cursor is already in that box and this turns the DHCP on. I do not have an Ethernet cable hooked up to this right now so it's just kind of taking a bit. So now we have the DHCP on. If we're going to use the Wi-Fi connection this needs to be off. Again the arrow button while the cursor is inside the box that switches this to off. The main thing we want to make sure that it did not grab an IP address that the Wi-Fi could potentially use. So I can press my down arrow and I could just change this to a 10. And I don't have to worry, that's not part of my network, so all that's good. I press the enter button, changes save successfully. I press the enter button again to exit this screen. Now I want to go to the Wi Fi setup. I right arrow over to Wi Fi setup and press the letter M for enter. I can see currently it's not enabled. Uh, as it says no right here in the box. So I press my right arrow and yes. There we go. I've already got a network in here. I just press my enter button and we wait for the device to reboot. And we're back up. I press the enter button. And we want to reboot the clock altogether. So we're going to unplug it. And then I'll be right back when it comes back up. Our clock has been rebooted. And again, I press the enter button. I arrow over to my comm and press the enter button and now I can see I have the wireless antenna down here so I'm going to arrow down to that and then I'm going to press enter and we see in here the list of available wireless networks so we're going to scroll down until we find one that we want and I passed it and we're going to press enter now, at this point, we can enter in the Wi-Fi password. If it's numeric only, I can use the keypad to enter in the numeric password here. If it's not numeric, then the best thing to do is to be able to get a USB flash drive and create a text file called ZK Option. And inside there, we would put in... Uh, the string to be able to load this password. Your dealer or representative can get 
the exact file and requirements for you as far as that goes. Once you do have the USB attached to the side here, we see there's a spot for the USB. We can arrow down until load password is highlighted. Once it's highlighted, we press enter. And if we had a USB drive in there, it would grab that password, load it, and we would just click OK. The wireless device would reboot, and you should have connectivity. When we look at the clock, we have connectivity. When we see the wireless signal right here, all green and no red X in the middle of this. Thank you for watching. We hope this we hope this helps you set up your US 10C correctly and quickly.